Yep. This is a Starship prototype going up in flames. But despite its destruction, the test was a resounding success. Here's why. Hello everybody and welcome. On December 9th, 2020, SpaceX wrote history. They flew their first Starship prototype, entitled SN8, which is short for serial number 8, and while doing so, they managed to reach five goals, each of which would have been a fantastic achievement in its own right. After a failed attempt the day before, where the engine refused to light up and the entire space community got a collective heart attack, SpaceX was back at it again, almost 24 hours later. A countdown hold at around 2 minutes before liftoff resulted in some concern speculation as of what may have caused this, but after recycling the vehicle, which meant draining all the propellant and then filling it up again, which is the safe way to do it for cryogenic fuel, the countdown was resumed. And this time, this behemoth of a rocket actually lifted off, which is the first achievement. Flying a full-size Starship. It's easy to forget when watching it from a distance, but Starship is actually 50 meters tall and 9 meters wide. This was the first time a full-size prototype of this vehicle took flight. Speaking of watching it from a distance, not only did SpaceX provide footage, but there is a great community of live streamers that documented the event as well. Here's a shout out to nasaspaceflight.com and their camera operator Mary, who in my opinion created the best tracking shot of SN8 roaring into the sky. Of course, there was also Lab Padre, S Padre and Everyday Astronaut, who all were on location and took amazing footage of this flight. A test flight that immediately achieved something else that was remarkable. Firing three Raptor engines for an extended period. SpaceX has test fired its Raptor engine quite a few times now and has flown it three times with a single engine installed, once with Starhopper, once with SN5 and once with SN6, where each performed a 150 meter hop. This time, however, three Raptor engines were firing for several minutes and lifted the vehicle to 12.5 kilometers. One thing that caused concern was the shutdown of one and then a second engine during that ascent. But this was very likely intentional in hindsight to reduce stress on the vehicle and to slow it down. On SpaceX stream, you couldn't see it that well, but on NASA spaceflight stream, in this angle operated by aerospace photographer Jack Beyer, you can clearly see how Starship is almost hovering at the highest point on its trajectory and moving sideways, probably to have SN8 above the water and not the landing side should anything go wrong at this point in the flight. But nothing bad happened yet, and so SpaceX reached the next achievement. The belly flop maneuver. My jaw literally dropped and I let out an incredulous laugh when I saw Starship flip sideways. This is probably the most bonkers thing a rocket has ever done in the history of spaceflight. Like a skydiver, it lay completely flat while the flaps acted as control surfaces to keep it stable. They also appeared to steer SN8 ever so slightly towards the target area. Actually, this could be considered as two achievements, transitioning to horizontal flight and using the control surfaces to keep it stable for descent. But both are needed for the success of the belly flop maneuver, so I decided to bunch them together. But when close to the surface, another insane thing happened. Raptor relighting and return to vertical flight. If a rocket falling on its belly and riding the air like a skydiver was the most bonkers thing up until now, it paled in comparison to what happened next. Two Raptor engines reignited and with the help of the flaps, notice the tucked in bottom flaps, and cold gas thrusters, SN8 returned into vertical position. Remember, 
This thing is 50 meters tall and 9 meters wide. It is said to have a mass of over 100 tons when empty. <laughs> Basically, this is a slimmer version of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Not just leaning, but going full tilt and then back up again. My vocabulary lacks a specific word to describe the combination of insanity and ingenuity that we have witnessed here. If you got one, please post it down in the comments below. However, the joy was short-lived, because here was the point where things went sideways. Well, no, let's just say this, this, this was the point where things went kerbal. After the ignition of the two engines, the left one, you can see here, immediately began to show traces of green in its exhaust. This is not a good sign, which I'll explain in a moment. Shortly after, one of the two engines shut down, which appeared to be unintentional, and the remaining engine went into full green exhaust. SpaceX CEO and chief engineer Elon Musk explained in a tweet that the header tank, which was used to fuel the engines at this moment for this maneuver, did not provide enough pressure to reliably feed the engines and that's why one shut down and the other began to burn itself. A green flame hints towards copper being present in the combustion process, which is one of the elements in the engine bell. And you don't want to burn that away when reusability is your goal. And yes, then the spectacular fireball happened, which in fact is also the final achievement. Hitting the target area. With all the crazy stuff that was already going on, it is easy to forget the fact that after all the above, Starship SN8 crashed almost precisely where it was supposed to land. This is corroborated by the fact that SpaceX were able to track the final flip maneuver perfectly with this camera. There's something interesting to note when the vehicle is breaking apart. If you look at both the footage from SpaceX as well as from Aspadra or the other streamers, it appears that SN8 first crashes into the ground, then it sort of freezes for a fraction of a second, and then it explodes. Notice also the explosion near the flaps on the nose cone. I'm not a demolition expert, let alone a rocket engineer, but I would love to know what is, was going on inside the vehicle when that happened. Funny enough, the fiery end for Starship SN8 is also the result of my own recreation of the vehicle I built in Kerbal Space Program experienced. However, SpaceX unfortunately did not quicksave before the landing attempt, so they have to revert, which they already announced in the same stream. Nevertheless, this was a huge achievement and a successful test, despite the fiery demise of the test article. Elon Musk has always said he gave SN8 only a 30-33% chance of surviving its first flight. His reactions on Twitter were euphoric for uh, what was achieved here. Mars, here we come, was one of the tweets he let out. If you need a volunteer, hit me up. So, what's next for Starship? Well, SpaceX already announced on the livestream of the test flight that they are going to do another attempt with SN9. And it is believed that one of the starships around SN15 will be the one that will perform the first orbital flight. By the way, SN9 will fly rather sooner than later, probably within the next few weeks. The vehicle is already assembled and parked in the high bay of the SpaceX complex in Boca Chica, Texas. Well, Elon, there's only one more thing to say. Again! If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.